season three, and we've got the newly relegated guys from the Pro League A first up. Wouldn't have it any other way. G'day there, gang. Welcome back to Chump the Champ. I'm Waylands, but most people call me Wally today. We've got the usual two matches to kick off Season 3 in the Belgian Pro League B with Sayang. I've heard how to say it so many times. You think I can actually get my mouth to say the word? I can't. So we go in against Kortrick. I think that is KV Kortrick in the first game. And the second game, I think we've got Bretcham. So we're up against it with a reasonably tough start to our campaign. But like I said, we wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, let's just have a look at the season preview here quickly. Season preview, thank you. As you can see, no one except Bowen in the team of oh, the media, Dream 11. Uh, don't think that's going to change at all over there. But look at this kid, Osterman, in the goals for um, Camp and Zonen. Jeez. Uh, we're, we're tipped to finish third in the league, uh, five to one there. So do you know what? I was complaining about the off season, but perhaps we haven't done as badly as we thought we have. Uh, we've got Sam Bowen and Nicholas Arai, both in the top 10 players of the league. How Arai's not in front of Louis up front. I'm not quite sure there. So we're going reasonably optimistic to this season, I think. Uh, we've had no other movement on the transfer market other than I have had a poke at trying to move Bowen on to see if he gets some money from me. He just got upset for me. 200000 is not a reasonable price, but your valuation, mate, says 300000 to half a mil. No, 80K. Not selling for 80K. Not a chance on this earth. So I, I, I'd rather wait mid to late season and try and get into a, a, a war for signing him. But I think he's League A quality. And to be fair, I don't think we're going to get much traction out of getting him to stay. But look, if he can do us a job and get us promoted this season, perhaps he might be all more interested to stay then. We will see. We will see. We're just a fraction under our wage budget at the moment, but we've got absolutely no transfer budget left. So what we've got is what we've got. And of course, we've had an injury to Pideloo and an injury to Zal up front. So... Zal will be going in a little bit underdone this game. And we've only got the two goalkeepers, which may prove problematic at some stage in the season. I have asked my director of football twice now for loan goalkeepers, but everyone wants to charge me lots of money to loan a goalkeeper. So we're going to wait a little bit closer to the transfer window closing, and then we'll have a, have a dip then. But I digress. Let's get into the match here. We have Timothy Gouger, uh, again, our starting goalkeeper after many attempts to replace him, but... No one affordable wanting to sign there for us. Uh, Littier, Wackers, uh, Legay, and Damashka are, at this stage of the season, my starting back four. Pretty solid on that. Uh, Wets partners Bowen in the centre of the park. Wets in because of the injury to Pideloo. Uh, not quite right yet. Needs a couple more weeks. Vermeulen and Timon on pre-season form coming in on the wing. Bashir not really settled into the team yet and probably hiring... If, look, yeah, Bashiran's only there because I've spent some money on him. You know, I mean, look at him. He should ruin people. 15 pace, 13 acceleration, natural fitness to run all day. He's got the flair to put that 10 crossing to use. He should be there, thereabouts, and he needs the game time. Harrink, however, I completely forgot I'd signed that young kid when I signed Harrink back up. Perhaps I wouldn't have. Perhaps a bit of a heart in the mouth signing, but both of them on the bench uh, for time and still. And all right, and Renzulli up the front because Bertolucci also got injured preseason and he's not 100%. So Renzulli gets the nod at these very early doors of the season. And Vermeulen's still not 100%. Yes, 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 yes. Squad numbers. A few moments later. Submit the numbers and get out there. You can be our number 11 plus 10. It'd be good if he could play as a 10. I don't think he can. His finishing's really poor. Right. Baptism of fire here. Let's do a pump the fist, get the lads out there. I want to see a good showing today. Send the ass man to that interview. And we will get out there and get things moving. Rightio. There are charges for this season. Look, there's... I know not a lot happened in the offseason, but I think Terry will be a good signing down here, down the left. And having Damascus fit, and hopefully old mate Vashiran can come off the bench, and Timo Zal can be a good swap through at the back. I, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. We certainly 
towards the end of last season, we didn't look like that. We were out of place at all. And frankly, I, I think I and the players bottled it in the last couple of games. And we shouldn't be in this division. And this year, we've got something to prove. There, there's We need to prove that there was, it was a, um, a fluke that we lost. And... Um, uh, uh, Molenbeek aren't there on credit and they're only there because we played badly and that was really a very bad start but I think Gouger had it covered regardless so we got a lot to prove this season a lot to prove and these boys know how to do it I just don't like seeing Timothy Gouger doing that his kicking is absolutely deplorable Bowen finds a right a right of a Mulan. Now, here's where Routier with the, his attacking instruction. I want to see him start to use his pace and do that a bit. And, oh, yeah! I expect to see that time and time again this season. That is exactly why I signed the boy. That's why he's putting us on the edge of our wage budget. But look at this. Look at this little burst of speed here. And it's like, yep, yeah, 16 pace. Yeah, I'm fastest, boy. And in it goes. Beautiful stuff. Arai opens his account early. Ritieri finds his head right off the early doors. And, oh, oh, crew, can we defend this nicely? Yeah, we can. Damashka doesn't head it very well, though, and only as far as their wing back there. Not even their wing back, their winger. All right, they're just going to knock it around a bit here. Oh, but what a start. I want to see those sort of goals all the time. That's how we set up the play. Wingers knock it into Arai and Arai floating like an apparition and nodding the ball home. And that's a good shot from them. And it's only just out of play. Excuse me for a moment. Righty, are we going again now? I had incredibly itchy nose all of a sudden. It happens all the time. I start filming and I get an itchy nose. At any rate, back to the action, Wally. No one gives a flying function about your itchy nose. D loss with the ball now. This is. Oh, oh, it's the end of the half. That's good. That's good. This is a good start. This is a good start. Come on, lads. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised here. Let's go out there and um, keep going. Sam Bowen does have a grump on. This is a problem because he's unhappy with the situation. Well, do you know what? His asking price is... Oh, it's where I want it to be. If by the transfer window, he's not there. I'm just going to remove him from the transfer list and hopefully... He's got nothing to complain about when he's got no set asking price. Yes. Oh, oh, that's nearly in. I think Gouger had that covered, but had my heart rate up for sure. Gouger again. This is why we've got you on roller out, Sunshine. I wish I could have signed someone to take the free kicks for him because he's just a liability. He's absolute liability in that situation. I mean, don't get me wrong. He deserved his team of the year goalkeeping performance last year with a league record number of clean sheets, but dearie me, his, um, his footwork leaves something to be desired. I, God, imagine playing him as a sweeper keeper. It'd be the stuff of nightmares. Anyway, uh, Korjaik knocking the ball around here and comes to nothing for them. We're thinking about substitutions over now. Yeah, Vermeulen's nearly done. He's not playing well anyway. So this is a problem. I can, I can move Renzulli out there. Does Renzulli have enough in the tank? He's not playing well, but he can move there anyway. I, I'm that I've overlooked that. I can move Ruttieri forward, and I can bring in Peter Bogers in behind. But I kind of want to see how this works as well with Renzulli playing more up the inside here, in behind Arai and pushing past. So Arai A can play one twos with him or even around this way, and Retieri can overlap down the side here. So I think that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to bring off Vermeulen now for Sandro Bertolucci, who is he's fit. He's just short of a run. As you can see, never would have got through the full match, but it should be right for now. And who else? Um, Bowen's pulled his finger out. Timon's not playing well. Joel, we're going to give Timon another 10 minutes. And then we're going to make a change. Bertolucci's out there to start with. I haven't done that. I've said that in the last two episodes. I haven't done that for a while. I certainly have. I'm doing it more and more regularly again. Anyway, Bowen hooks the ball in. Oh, own goal. 
What the hell was that? A, how does Bowen get the exist for that? And B, what has Osterman, their keeper, done with this? What's he done here? He's fisted it down, and Arai's got his a leg around the player there. Their poor number three will be having kittens. Right. We got the ball back here. Um, so I want to make a substitution, gentlemen. Wow. 2 0 up, and that is one of the more bizarre goals I've seen in Football Manager thus far. I mean, it always. Aussies are always baffled at why goalkeepers can't catch. With those great bleeding gloves on, can't catch a ball like that. You'd be expected to take that if you're an Australian rules footballer. Rightio. Delos puts the ball into the, oh, into the circle, and then he said, they've got football on my mind again. In, in to the penalty area, and oh, there's a million bodies in the penalty area. Sanyang, Legay relieves him of the ball. I thought he'd given away a card there, but we've got time for the final substitution now. Timon's going to come off, and Vashurin is going to make his debut. And what else is going on here? Maxime Wack is not having the best game of his life. I'm going to think I'm bring on Timo Zal, and let, let's get all the de debuts out of the way in the first game, shall we? We're not afraid to give the new boys a run here. Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, Pumpfish, hit the ground running in the debut, show everyone why you're here. They both remain composed. I can't get them inspired and motivated or anything like that. But composed will do. We're 2-0 up. It's our first game against the side coming down from the Pro League. Bowen puts the ball in again. And, oh, Araya nearly scores again. There's a hat-trick on the cards for him there. Still no hat-tricks. Still not a single hat-trick in competitive play for any of our players since I've taken over here at the club. And I wonder why the bus say... The, the bus say? I wonder why the club say I have a park the bus style. I'm not trying to park the bus. That's just how, how things have sorted out. Right. Oh, it comes back to Gouger. Ooh. That say that I thought that was that splitting ball here. Roll it out. You got hands. Roll it out. Look, there's three of them there. There's three of them there. What'd you kick it for? What did you kick it for? What did you kick it for? Osterman. Can he make another mistake for us? No, he hasn't. He, unlike um, Gouger, found his player. But we've won the ball back here. Uh, I don't even have the counter pressing instruction on, but we are doing well. Better Lucci's offside, I think. No, he's not. The referee's kept his fag down. And Bertolucci comes on to score an incisive. Incisive wasn't the word I was looking for. Um, uh, decisive goal here. I mean, I think the game was already there. But good little first touch from Bertolucci there. Puts it between the keeper and his near post. The keeper will be upset there. And is he off? Is he off? He is off. I thought he was. I called it. I caught it. It'll be fine, ref. The check is in the post, my friend. No match fixing here at all. Nothing in that brown paper bag for you to see there. Don't worry about it. 3-0. Quite happy with that as a start. Both the strikers on the scoreboard. The, the engine room in the middle here playing well together. Even Wets stepping up. And the new guy in the left of the defense. Wow. I want to see more of that from him. Let's see you at the next game. Okay, so just a little shuffle for the game against Bircham today. Uh, we're going to play Peter Burgers at fullback. He comes to me wanting to go out alone. I can't afford to let him go out on loan. I'm hands are tied behind my back, kind of. So he's come in to play at fullback today. Uh, we've pushed Routier up the pitch a little bit, and we're going to give Vermeulen a bit of a rest off the bench. Again, two interrupted pre-seasons in a row for Vermeulen. So... Two interrupted pre-seasons in a row for Vermeulen. For, there's been two interrupted pre-seasons for Vermeulen. That took me a few goes to get out. And to be fair, his run of form, even in the pre-season, hasn't been that good. So it's Bogers in, Rettieri up the ground a little bit to use some of that speed and crossing to feed a rye from a little bit more of an attacking position. And that is the only real change. Um, and Pideloo onto the bench and Harrink will miss out and that is my fear that Harrington is going to start to miss out and I might end up needing him to play on the left and he's not going to be happy with it and yeah any rate we'll cross that bridge when we come to it let's see how this 
slightly jigged lineup goes against um, Bertram, who were pretty good last year, to be fair, coming up from the league below. Uh, gave everyone a good run for their money there. Uh, we're going to pump the fist. And I'm going to outstretch the arms and tell them to pick up from when they left off last time. Um, we're also going to send the arse man to the interviews. That seems to be bringing a bit of good luck for me. Don't don't let give football manager any chances to, to to mess with your rhythm. If you've got a rhythm, you keep it, and you make sure football manager damn well knows it's your rhythm. Anyway, let's throw out some encouragement, shall we, for the boys? And as best I hope is a highlight, but it's not. Right, I seem to remember these guys being pretty tidy last year, and like like pretty crisp sort of passing side. However, we have relieved them of the ball there. But only as far as their fullback, who is more awake than Renzulli. To be fair, there's only Renzulli. Oh, that's a that's a goal. As soon as he hit that, I thought, yeah, that's a goal. Oh dearie me! And no, no, don't, don't get, don't, don't, don't be disheartened, Wally. Come on, we're gonna throw out some more encouragement here. Don't be disheartened, Wally, because Legay is gonna lace out um, Arai here, but he's not. Damashka, though, does find oh, Ritieri's offside. Beautiful cross. Oh, that should have... Oh, how was that not a goal? Which which striker was responsible for that? I can only imagine that's Renzulli. It'd have to be Renzulli or Arai, one of the two. Oh, whatever's happened there, it's gone awry. That's... Oh, no. No. Punished. Oh, so punished. Oh, my God. What was that? We have missed the easiest opportunity any of these boys are going to have all year. And one, two passes up the field. And two touches for Lambeau, who apparently is as fast as his namesake and was had, didn't have a defender within QE of him. All right, Bogers. Stop playing like a bunch of flaming glass, you idiots. Wets. Oh, that's, who's that to, Wets? Who's that to? Whackers. That's the only problem with Wets in the team there is that is look on on paper his passing is good, but and his decision making is not bad. He just seems to give the ball away so much. Timon, however, is in the right spot this time. I see it's just that lack of pace that worries if you have time in there, and he's too close to Creamers by the time the cross goes in, and well, like skimming his namesake off the top of some milk. Creamers skims that ball and grabs it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Timothy Gouger. Oh, I don't want to say. We're a completely different side. We are a completely different side. Legay finds Whackers. I mean, if we can get one back before half time, that'd be nice, Joe. And Bogers to Wets. Bowen, the, play, the engine room, the playmaker. The man we're trying to sell. We, we kind of tried to talk him up a little bit in the last press conference. Time and in this time. Arrive this time and into the stands. Empty stands here for this home game for us. That's not good. Right, Creamers again. Now, we're good in the air at the back here. Can we get the ball? Yes. Wets does it very well. Damashka. Uh, Damashka. Finds Ritieri. Where's that pace? Pace and acceleration. Now. Go. 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 Oh, Renzulli. Oh, geez, he's good. I think I've got a new favorite player. Ritieri is my new favorite on the team. I just love what he does. Oh, come on, boys. We're better than this. Everyone's motivated now. So you should be. Uh, Renzulli having a shocker. I reckon it must have been Renzulli that missed that shot. Uh, do you know what? Early change. Bertolucci comes on now. Bertolucci comes on now. All right, Damashka. Looks for the aforementioned Bertolucci with the ball. We can't find it. Ritieri doing well, pushing up front here. Bertolucci, Timon. Ritieri... He's offside, but, oh, I like what I see from the guy, even playing as a winger. Oh, righty -o. Okay, here's something I've been planning for. 
Um, I'll sort this. Um, all right, it's fitness, man. It's like, yeah, it, 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 it leaves me worried. All right, so Pida Lee comes on for him. Uh, Bowen, Bowen there. Bowen can play as a shadow striker, please. And Bertolucci can play in the middle there. And we're going to change our look just a little bit. Um, anyone else tiring? Gutierrez might have to come off at some stage. Bowen in danger of being booked, but I kind of don't mind that. And Wet's not playing well. We'll keep an eye on that. We did mention that Wet's had had a couple of astray passes. So the game agrees with me for once. He's um, so hot and cold. I mean, he's physically, he's a monster. You know, he doesn't get pushed off the ball. He's got good pace. He's got good work rate. His mentals are good. He's just technically... He's just clumsy. He, he, he's a, I suppose he plays like I played lacrosse. So I was standing in the right spot. I was big enough to knock everyone else over. Just my stick skills and my foot skills, not so good. Timon puts the ball in, but only as far as their center halves. And we go straight back at him. The change of shape. Will it help us here? Damashka finds Timon. Timon. Still Timon. Finds Ritieri on the far post. Bird Lucci can't quite hook it in and out for a corner. Who's going to take the corner? It's Bowen. Bowen will be looking for Wackers on the near post. And Maxime Wackers nearly knocks the ball in, but not quite. Right, we're looking very threatening here. We just haven't found the goal. Wackers this time, and the flag's up. Ah, oh, no. Deary me. Well, the whole team's offside by a foot. By a foot. Thank you, Football Manager. I, I enjoy that little feature this year. It's really good. No, it's not. It's really shit. Uh, that's a straight change. We'll just swap that one up there. Vermeulen comes on for Rittieri, and hopefully uh, fit, quick Vermeulen can do some things down the flank there. Now, I'm a little bit late for this last sub, but I'm going to... No, I'm done. I'm done. That's three, because I made them one at half time. That's right. Jeez. Look, the goals that we conceded, one was a weldy and the other one was just lack of opportunities not taken. Oh, I'm pretty upset here. The boys should all be pretty upset. That's a great free kick from Bowen, but not quite. Bircham have run out two nil winners against us here. And, oh, dearie me. Dearie me. We're not going to go two balls to the wall, but we're not happy. We'll go with the most negative response that we can. Deary me, we had that many chances on goal. Radio, uh, what a load of rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone was really watching that game. I mean, okay, if we score and all of a sudden it's one all and because they can't go down score from a counter. I mean, and there's so many chances. So many chances. Ah, oh, dearie me. It still comes out that I slammed the team. Oh, you deserve the slamming. You deserve the slamming. They, they should have won that match. Should have won that match. Now, let's have a look at the schedule here and see when we're going to come back to you here. Rightio, what have we got here? Here's the other new team, Lorcan and Tamiz. Uh, when do we play Lorcan again? Not till January. God, this league goes quickly. So, yeah, I think we'll come back to you for Lorca and Tem Thames. Temis? Temsey? I'm rubbish at this. I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> we'll come back for Moscron and Lucaren. Right, a mixed bag for the start of the season there. I think we played well, though. I'm still optimistic that we can get promoted this season. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. My name's Waylands. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.